you liked the last episode, which was on mallard ducks. And this month, we're learning about the Maasai giraffe. Come on, let's go! Giraffes live in the savanna all throughout Africa. Giraffes can be found running on the open plains and woodlands. Giraffes are known for their very long necks. They are the world's largest land animal. A male giraffe can grow five and a half meters. That's taller than three adult humans. A giraffe's height is helpful for keeping a lookout for predators such as lions and hyenas. Their excellent eyesight allows them to spot hungry beasts from far away too. Herbivores, giraffes only eat plants. Their favorite grub is the acacia tree and they use their long necks to reach the leaves and buds in the treetops. Their long tongue, which grows to a whopping 53 centimeters, also helps them. And boy, do these guys have an appetite. They spend most of their time eating and can guzzle up two 45 kilograms of leaves and twigs a day. They may eat a lot. Giraffes don't drink much water. This is because they get most of their water from their leafy meals and only need to drink once every few days. Giraffes are very social animals and roam around in groups. These groups are called towers, typically have around 15 members led by an adult male. The other members are females and young males. Tales from the Zoo. Did you know that a giraffe's black tongue protects it from the sun? Do you know what enrichment is? Comment down below if you know the answer. It is important when giraffes live in zoos that they have enrichment. As you can see at the Toronto Zoo, the giraffes have a lot of enrichment. They have balls and other goodies to help them search for food. Did you know how zookeepers check to see if a giraffe is pregnant by checking their poop? Ew! Tales from the Zoo! A male is called a bull. A baby giraffe is called a calf. To see who is stronger, males butt their heads and necks together. This is known as necking. It's not dangerous, but one giraffe walks away. Newborn giraffes are welcome to the world by dropping a one and a half meter drop to the ground. This does not hurt the baby giraffe, but they are quick to get up. Hours after they are born, they are able to run with their mother. Giraffes can live up to 25 years in the wild, but in captivity, they can live up to 40 years. That's old! I hope you like this episode on giraffes. In the next episode of Go Out at Matthew, we will be talking about polar bears. Go wild!